In Ridley Scott's Gladiator, with music by Hans Zimmer there are two themes for the protagonist, which the viewer remembers. One is for the hero, the gladiator. The other is for Maximus, the father and husband, a theme that opens for him the doors to the afterlife. Both are in the foreground for the spectator to hear and to engage with them. But there is another theme neither heroic nor lyrical, but poisonous, and even though it appears up to ten times the viewer is not aware of its presence nor gets involved in it, but instead becomes its victim. It is the theme of Commodus, the Emperor. Little B had wounded him more deeply than anyone else could ever have done. His music is sinuous, disturbing and sinister, as slippery as a snake. Commodus is insecure, weak and unstable. But with his musical snake he transforms into a sinuous, wicked and powerful man. His music is introduced in the first credits, before the film begins, by repeating twice the main motif of the theme. This music reappears 15 minutes later, at the arrival of Commodus and his sister at the camp. The introduction of both characters in the film. You made me. The first thing I shall do. Here is where the theme appears complete for the first time. Nothing indicates that it is the theme of Commodus. But now it also includes his sister, transmitting the apparent information that both of them are evil. But this will not last long. We almost there, sir. Sire? Where's the Emperor? He's at the front, sire. They've been gone for 19 days. The wounded are still coming in. My horse. My lord. Kiss? It will not be difficult, when viewer knows she lives in terror of her brother to understand that this music only belongs to him. I will give the people the greatest vision of their lives. And from this point his musical snake will be more threatening than the emperor himself. When it is with him. or in the scenes where it is without him, as in the thought of Maximus, or in this conspiration scene disturbing everything. We are docile. We are obedient. His music will even announce in a ceremonious and pompous way his arrival at the Colosseum. In the final encounter with Maximus, when he calls the Emperor a coward, You've been afraid all your life. Unlike Maximus the and he faces him without fear, the snake no loses fear. all its power. It does not generate unease because it does not concern Maximus. It will be the last no time the theme of Commodus is heard. Well. All a man can do is smile back. This has summarized the evolution of the Emperor's theme in the film. But if the film is titled Gladiator, the protagonist is Maximus, the Gladiator. And the Emperor, even being the opponent, is not the main character of the film. Why the film begins with his music? Why with Commodus? 
If the film will tell the story of a gladiator, of a hero, it should begin this way. If the aim is to highlight Maximus, the man, the film would start this way. But why to ignore the gladiator and Maximus and impose a start to Commodus? This is a full strategy, both the gladiator and Maximus themes are on the forefront, and the viewer is aware of their existence, but this does not happen with Commodus' snake, which is not on the forefront of awareness and reaches the viewer without him really noticing its existence. And to turn the poison of this theme really toxic, nothing better than to show it previously. Having it appear even before the emperor himself makes this music even more dangerous because it functions as a warning and the viewer is thus advised in advance, and also bitten.